It is an experience shared by millions of girls and young women around the world. They were married against their will before 18 years old. 39,000 girls become child brides every single day, and 15 million girls are married before the age of 18. Forced marriage is a marriage between two people where one or both of the individuals do not give their consent for the marriage to take place. Marriage is about choice and forced marriage takes that choice away. Yep, it is traditionally Hindu family, so I belong there. I do. Oh yeah, I mean that's not how it is. It's mostly like now it is changing right in a little bit, but like mostly it is like it's an arranged marriage. Like okay, and that's yes. My my parents were looking for when I did my post graduation. After that, they were they had started looking for a guy for me. So that's like they'll. That, that's that's the tradition I mean like my brother is younger to me and he got arranged marriage so he got arranged marriage so that's how it is but mine was not because I met a person um, while I was working and that's it. but it was still love plus arranged because I just knew him and then I told my parents and then they still did the arranged they met his parents and all that stuff and that's how it goes but I knew the guy before I got married أنا ب... أنا صح إنني هربت من أهلي صح أنا ما عاد أشتيش عندهم خلاص أنا أشتي عند أعيش عند عمي إيش براءة الطفولة إيش ذنب الأطفال من تزوجوهم كذا يعني مثلا أنا هنا حين أنا بحل مشكلتي صح بس ب... بعض الأطفال براءتهم ما يحلوش مشكلتهم يمكن يموتوا يمكن ينتحروا يمكن يفعلوا اللي براسهم لأنهم أطفال ما يدروش بحاجة يعني عندهم ما تعلموش ولا درسوا ولا حاجة I was 14 when my mother presented the photograph of the man I was to learn I was promised to when I was eight. And I was the one who said, no, I'm not marrying this man. I Unlike her sisters, Sangera ran away and was disowned by her parents and siblings. What happens in, in my family is no different to what is happening today in Britain. Indian girls in Britain and other parts of the world are still being married off without their consent, and they are accepting the practice as normal. She says not only do parents need to be educated, but girls also need to be empowered to know they have the right to refuse a marriage. Child marriage is a traditional practice that in many places happens simply because it has happened for generations. In many communities where child marriage is a practice, girls are not valued as much as boys. 
while it may be a culture traditional with some communities for the families to force marriages, but there is no culture traditional that expects people to unwillingly enter into marriages. Working with men and boys is a critical part of our efforts to end child marriage. In many communities, it is the men who hold the power and make the decision. Intervention targeted fathers, brothers, husbands, and future husbands are important in helping men and boys reflect on the statue and see the benefits of a community, which values and supports girls and women to fulfill their potential. Religious and traditional leaders too have the potential to play a key role in speaking out against child marriage and changing the community attitude. A community where religion and traditional leaders play a prominent role in decision making or influencing the prevailing norms, targeted intervention can support them to become positive advocate for change who fully understand the implication of child marriage for girls and their families.